Hello and welcome to my video how to solo herb Freya. Today I'm going to show you basically how to herb 90% of the room solo. Uh, there's going to be a few spawn points we don't hit because we're doing this solo. Uh, it's possible to get them with a party but otherwise they're too close to the groups of mobs. Uh, the first few spawn points are pretty easy to get. They're, you can just run right up and herb them, nothing to worry about. I do recommend that you take off most of your gear with durability for this room. Um, just because you will die the first first couple times you do this, it's just a learning experience. Uh, I have also specced into improved stealth and gotten the improved stealth run speed and cooldown reduction. On this one right here, you kind of have to watch out for the flower pack. The flower packs have the largest aggro radius in this room, so they're going to be your most dangerous enemies. Coming up here, we stealth up and we're going to get this gold clover right in front of us. You have to wait for the dragon patrol to be in the right spot. Uh, otherwise, when he turns around and comes back, he'll aggro you while you're herbing the gold clover. Also, when we pick this, this particular herb, we're going to have to watch the flower pack to our left. They, again, have a large aggro radius and will aggro you. So, here, coming up here, I'm going to distract him in the furthest left position point of his patrol. It's going to be the one all the way back. There's the distract. I'm going to position myself to the right of the herb so that when I pick it, I'm further from the flower pack. If you go too far right, you will pull the elder, however. Alright, so I've done that. I've gotten out quickly. I've de-stealth. Now I'm going to despawn the elder. Um, sorry about that lag there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to face pull the elder, and then I'm going to shadow meld. There's the shadow meld. You have 12 seconds before he respawns. So it is possible to, to pick these herb points, but you have to pick all three very quickly and very efficiently. Coming up here, here's the third herb. And we stealth back up. Alright, now this next herb we have to wait for the flower pack to go before we can pick the gold clover. Uh, the key here is patience. You spend more time running back from the graveyard than you do waiting for a flower pack to go away. They have a very large aggro radius, so just be patient and always err on the side of caution. Here comes the actual pick. We're going to go up to the next herb up here and pick them while that same flower pack is still away. It will pat right through it, so just watch. Be careful. And we're done, so we stealth up. We're going to ignore that herb to the northeast of us. It's one of those that's not worth your time while soloing. Now we're heading back to the middle of the room. Watch through these trees. It is possible to aggro that dragon pat again through these trees, so just be careful. Oh look, we get to wait on a flower pack again. That's okay. Uh, they do actually have a large, ag larger aggro radius than Freya, so if they're near Freya and aggro you, they will pull her. Uh, Freya, as you see, is now going to walk up to the yellow crystal over there. So we're going to herb. It's possible to herb it with her just standing right there. You just have to be a little bit more cautious. And again, we're waiting on this flower pack just to make sure the uh, this herb up here is safe. Watch to your left. If you're too close to that pack, that pack with the trees and the dragons, you will pull them as well. Now we're going to run up here. This herb coming up to our northeast here is a completely safe spot. Nothing will ever aggro you while you stand here. If you do have to AFK for some reason, this is the spot to do it. This herb right in front of us with the dragon pat is, again, one of those herbs that's just too close to a group to bother getting while you're solo. As you do this more, you'll start to get a feel for the actual aggro radiuses of the different packs. The elders and Freya themselves have a fairly small aggro radius. You'll, you'll figure out exactly where you can stand to pull them and not pull them. We're going to catch this gold clover right here. And a flower pad is by Freya, so we're going to wait a little bit. 
Uh, it's possible to get this Frost Lotus right here without pulling Freya, you, so we're just going to get as far away as possible as we can and inch up to her. You'll see that I do mess up and I pull Freya. If that does happen, no big deal. All you have to do is just finish out your Urbing and then vanish or Shadow Meld. Uh, Freya does not respond or do anything for about 7 seconds. See, look, there, I just pulled Freya. Gonna finish the herb, loot the herb, and vanish. No big deal. Move on. She'll despawn. Alright, on this one, we're gonna very quickly herb this, uh, this Talandra's Rose right here. That flower pack is in a very good position for us, so we're gonna do it and keep moving. Uh, it's eventually gonna catch up to us, so just keep an eye out on it, and when it gets too close to safely herb the next herb, just stealth up and wait for it to go by. I happened to time it perfectly here and managed to get all three herbs. But now it's getting pretty close, so I'm going to stealth up after this before I catch this gold clover right here. While I'm waiting here, now's a very good time to kind of keep an, find and keep an eye out for the pat over here, the nymph in the tree. When we despawn the third elder to our right, we want to make sure they are not in aggro range, otherwise he'll despawn but you'll still have to deal with the aggro of those two while trying to pick his three herbs. So now the flower pack's heading away. Uh, again, err on the side of caution. They do have a fairly large aggro radius. Patience is the whole key to this room. If you can do it with patience, you can do it without dying. Here's the pick. Now we're going to come over here. You'll see that I, I actually make a mistake here and I jump the gun on the Shadow Meld. He was not engaged yet. So I did have to wait two minutes for my Vanish to come back up, but thanks to the wonders of video editing, my Vanish is now back up. I'm going to go ahead and check for the pat. It's clear. Check for the flower pack. It's clear. So I'm going to go ahead and pull him. Alright, there's the Vanish. And I'm going to start picking those three herbs. Remember, you have to do this quickly and efficiently to get all three herbs before he respawns. Coming up on the third herb now. I've had some rotten luck with Frost Lotus this run, though. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and distract the nymph from the tree. The next herb that we pick is going to be in their patrol path. So by distracting them, it just gives us a little bit more time to get there and pick it before they aggro. Unfortunately, even with that time-saving effort, now we're going to have to wait on this flower pack to my left for the next two herbs. Um, even, even on this gold clover right here, they will still aggro. Unfortunately, on the, the Frost Lotus, is again too close to that group to pick. The Frost Lotus spawns in the room are random, so sometimes you'll get good positioning on them, sometimes you won't. Sometimes they'll all be under the group and you just kind of have to deal with it. For this group to my left, you have to wait to pick the herb until the dragon is at his furthest position on his patrol. If you pick while well, he's too close, he'll aggro. So here, now I'm, he's furthest away, so I'm going to go ahead and start picking. Uh, you can distract him to give yourself a little bit more time. I probably should have done that, because as you see right there, I just aggroed them. So Shadow Meld, while well, they're still far away, and I move on. Now the Flower Pack is in good position, so we'll go ahead and pick this herb as well. And look, a Frost Lotus, yay. Alright, that was the last herb for the room, so uh, now we're going to head back to the entrance. You do have to soft reset the instance to get the flowers to respawn, which means you have to zone out of the instance for 30 minutes. Um, so just make a mental note or write it down what time you zone out, and you can come back in. If you do mess up and you say zone in in 29 minutes, you will have to wait another full 30 minutes to get them to respawn. Thank you guys very much for watching my video. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, and I'll do my best to respond to it. Have a great day. Bye.